Hey, folks, uh, we're going to, if you could stick around, we'd appreciate it. We're going to move an item up in the agenda. We're going to move uh, item A in new business right up now. We think it's appropriate given the crowd we have. David? Yeah, as you know, uh, Chief Ryan retired in January of 2009, and uh, we began the process of uh, looking for his replacement uh, last fall. Uh, Chief Ryan served the community with distinction in class and professionalism for over 30 years. The last 13, I believe, as chief. Uh, he was the only guy to show up on those dreaded Saturday morning budget meetings with a shirt and tie and a jacket. And uh, now you can tell he's on vacation with uh, no tie, his shirt's untucked. <laughs> and I guess the surf, the surf shop was not open. I don't see his Hawaiian shirt on, but <laughs> chief, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your years of service to the uh, town of London Derry. As we, move <laughs> As we move the process over to search for a successor, we uh, surveyed all the stakeholders in the community and throughout the state, including the personnel from the police department, uh, fellow department heads, community leaders, and state officials, and all uh, were unanimous in uh, what uh, spurred my decision to look internally. As one senior state uh, safety department official who I've known and respected for 30 years told me, Dave, you'll be wasting your resources, as I don't think there's anyone outside of the department who can do a better job to carry forward Chief Ryan's work than the senior management at the uh, police department. So we decided to advertise internally. Uh, we had an interview panel which consisted of community leaders, including Councilor DeMarco and Superintendent Greenberg, uh, a police chief from outside of this area, a municipal manager from, from outside of the community. After they interviewed uh, the candidates outside of my presence, they happily told me I've got a problem, a problem anyone would like, is that any of the candidates would do an exceptional job leading the Londonderry Police Department. After further review and interviews, I am pleased to uh, request council confirmation of my selection of Captain Hart as the next police chief of the town of Londonderry. Councilor DeMarco? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, it will be my pleasure to make a motion to confirm the town manager's uh, confirmation uh, of William Ryan Hart as the next chief of police of the town of Londonderry. Okay. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I have a second. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes unanimously. Congratulations, <laughs> Bill. If I might. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first, thank you for the confidence that you have placed in me. Uh, it is, uh, I'm humbled by that. Um, I'm humbled by the responsibility that I now face uh, and the shoes that I have to fill. Um, I, as many know, returned uh, to the London Dairy Police Department. Uh, I returned here because I believe in the professionalism of this agency and the specialness of this community. But most of all, uh, because it, of the men and women who work here, they believe in uh, what being a police officer is all about. And I am proud, uh, I am truly proud um, to have the responsibility uh, of leadership of this organization. I'm, I'm humbled by it, and I hope uh, to fulfill their expectations and yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Okay, uh, just one, one parting comment for the folks who uh, are interested in leaving after this. Uh, every year at this time when we have these awards, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to 
kind of meet uh, up close and personal the uh, men and women of this wonderful department. And on behalf of the council, I, I'd like to say, and I, and I know it's unanimous up here, that we're, we're very proud of this department. Uh, the professionalism in particular is, is what really stands out. And you probably don't hear that a lot from, from politicians, which we're not, but we just want to let you know that we are really proud of this department and we, we love the way you run it. So great job, folks.